In a world where the future is a puzzle, the unspoken strength of your passport emerges as a key player in the shadowy game of global politics. It's not just a booklet for travel, it's a symbol of your nation's place in the world order, a silent yet powerful ally in times of international turmoil. In our increasingly interconnected world, the concept of national neutrality takes on a new significance, especially when global tensions rise and the threat of conflict looms. Countries like Switzerland, Ireland, Brazil and some Caribbean islands have become experts in maintaining a stance of neutrality, a strategy that is more than just a political manoeuvre. It's a means of ensuring their own survival and the safety of their citizens. This is a topic that touches everyone's life more than you might realise. Picture a scenario where tensions escalate to the brink of a third world war. In such a world, holding a passport from one of these neutral nations transforms from a mere travel document into a crucial tool for safety, offering a way to navigate through a world plunged into chaos. Starting with Switzerland, a country synonymous with neutrality, its approach to international conflicts is one of careful avoidance. The Swiss passport in times of global turmoil becomes incredibly valuable. Imagine World War III erupts. Holding a Swiss passport would be akin to having a magic pass that eases your way through international borders during a period of widespread disruption. However, obtaining Swiss citizenship is no small feat. It's a rigorous process that demands a deep commitment to assimilating into Swiss culture, reflecting their strong focus on community and shared principles. Ireland, with its reputation for affability in global affairs, offers a similar story. The Irish passport is a testament to the country's long-standing neutral, non-confrontational position, rooted in a history that has largely steered clear of significant military conflicts. In a hypothetical global conflict scenario, possessing an Irish passport could significantly ease your travels, acting as a symbol of a nation renowned for its peaceful disposition. Acquiring this passport, either through ancestral connections or a prolonged residence of five years, is akin to being welcomed into a community that prizes peace and amiability above all. Brazil presents a unique case. While not often highlighted for its neutral stance, it's a country that has successfully avoided major conflicts over the years. In the face of something as catastrophic as World War III, a Brazilian passport could serve as an unexpected advantage. It signifies your affiliation with a nation known for its amicable foreign policy. Gaining Brazilian citizenship, which involves a residency requirement of four years, is more than a legal formality. It represents an embrace of Brazil's richly diverse and vibrant culture, a lifestyle that celebrates diversity and a zeal for life. Caribbean nations provide a unique perspective in the realm of international relations. Islands like St. Kitts and Nevis, Dominica and Grenada offer an intriguing option. Citizenship by investment. This isn't just a ticket to a tranquil life on sun-soaked beaches. It's a strategic move to secure a passport from a region typically detached from geopolitical squabbles. In a scenario like World War III, these passports could become extremely valuable, representing ties to nations that are small, peaceful and geographically distant from the epicenters of conflict. Let's contrast this with passports from countries deeply involved in global politics, such as the UK and the US. If a global conflict like World War III were to erupt, these passports, typically seen as powerful, might become burdensome. The active role these countries play in international affairs could result in their citizens facing more scrutiny and travel restrictions. This situation serves as a reminder that with great power comes great responsibility. In times of worldwide tension, the global stance of your country can significantly impact you as a citizen. Looking at the broader picture, the shifting dynamics of global politics suggest that passports from less prominent nations might rise in importance in a World War III scenario. Countries that usually fly under the radar, or those from regions far from traditional hotspots of conflict, might find their passports gaining newfound respect. Their relative obscurity and distance from the centres of global disputes could make their citizens appear neutral, less likely to be associated with controversial international policies. To summarise, the prospect of a global conflict like World War III casts a spotlight on the importance of the passport you hold. Passports from neutral countries like Switzerland, Ireland, Brazil and the Caribbean islands 
symbolize a connection to nations that prioritize peace, diplomacy, and a low-profile international presence. These passports could become your ticket to a safer, simpler life in a world rife with tensions. On the other hand, passports from influential nations like the UK and the US could complicate international travel, reflecting these countries' significant roles on the global stage and the potential hostilities this involvement might incite. Your passport is more than a tool for crossing borders. It's a statement of your place in the global narrative, influencing your experiences and challenges in the intricate dance of international relations. In a world where alliances are ever-changing and tensions are often just beneath the surface, the value of your passport goes far beyond its physical pages. It embodies your nation's history, policies and global standing, playing a vital role in your personal and professional journey in an increasingly interconnected world. As we contemplate the future and the growing possibility of a World War III, it's crucial to recognize the subtle yet significant influence of the document you carry. Your passport is not just a travel accessory, it's a reflection of the global landscape, a piece of your identity that speaks volumes in the silent language of international politics. Ultimately, the ideal passport in a World War III situation isn't just about the ability to travel, it's about navigating a world full of uncertainties with a sense of security and belonging. Thanks for watching. If you found this video insightful and want to dive deeper into World War III scenarios, be sure to check out our other videos on the topic. If you enjoyed what you saw, please give us a like and don't forget to subscribe for more content. Your support helps us create more videos like this. Stay safe and informed.